Trial Balance and Rectification of Errors is an important chapter in Plus One Accounting and in this video I would like to explain the important theories and problems of this chapter. So what is Trial Balance? A Trial Balance is a statement of balances or total of debits and credits of all the accounts in the ledger on a particular date prepared to test arithmetical accuracy of books of accounts kept under tabulary system see so the definition says now let us uh, now let's break up the definition the definition says uh, a trial balance is a statement it is not an account but it is a statement and statement of what statement of balances balances of all the accounts in the previous chapter we studied the ledger accounts ends with uh, ends with a balancing of accounts so trial balance is preparing by taking the balances of accounts or the total of debits and credits and another system of maintaining trial balance or ledger accounts is that instead of balancing we take both debit balances and credit balances this is only a literary concept but uh, in practice we follow the first method that means the balance method see so i'm saying the definition the trial balance is a statement of balances or total of debits and credits of all the accounts in the ledger on a particular date and it is prepared to test arithmetical accuracy of books of accounts maintained or kept under double entry system so try to learn the definition of trial balance okay now features of trial balance first one it is prepared on a specific date second one it is a statement of balances of all accounts from the definition it, it is clearly mentioned it is prepared based on the balances of all accounts third one total of the debits and credit columns of the trial balance must tally and fourth one it is not an account it is only a statement finally it helps to ascertain the arithmetical accuracy of books of accounts then objectives of trial balance this is a very important topic for examination see there are mainly three objectives first one to ascertain the arithmetical accuracy of books of accounts secondly to help in locating errors and finally uh, to help in the preparation of financial statement so these are the important objectives of trial balance methods of preparing trial balance literally we have three methods balance method total amount method and hybrid method in and under the first method we consider only the balances of ledger accounts and pre prepare trial balance in total amount method we take the total of debits and credits and prepare trial balance and third method it is a combination of the first two that is called hybrid method but in practice we use the first method that is balance method see the format of trial balance it has three columns first column name of the account then uh, two amount columns on right side first one it is debit column then credit column at the last for the preparation of trial balance it may be given uh, an extract of balances of different account and uh, preparation side of the uh, trial balance is very simple uh, we have to follow the same logic uh, like basics of accounts uh, like this you know and if it is an asset item asset account like a furniture cash etc should be shown on the debit column if it is a liabilities items like uh, sunday creditors bills payable should be shown on the credit column their balances should be shown on the credit column capitals should also be shown on the credit column then if it is an income like uh, a commission received or interest received etc should be shown on the credit column of trial balance and if it is an expense like wages salaries uh, rent paid such items should be shown on the debit column of the a trial balance and finally we total both columns to total of debit and credit columns and these columns total must be tallied okay friends uh, the next topic it is uh, rectification of errors and rectification of errors will be updated updated in the next video for that you please like subscribe this channel okay keep learning thank you